Are you wanting to hook up your electronic choke with a relay? In this video, I'll show you how to do it. What's up guys, my name is Andy. I recently installed a new carburetor and now I need to finish hooking up the electronic choke. To do that, I'm gonna use a standard automotive relay and I'm gonna wire it up so that everything's done here in the engine bay. Let's take a look at this relay and how we're gonna hook it up. To hook up that electronic choke, just using a standard relay like this is, is perfect for what we need to do. Uh, you guys may have seen this type of relay before. These are standard uh, terminals here and you can buy just the relay itself and put the spade terminals on there, but I like having this harness. It just makes it a little bit easier and it's a little bit cleaner setup. Uh, well, to also, to, to power this thing, we're just gonna come off of the starter solenoid and I found a drawing online that basically lines this out for us. And then what I did is I ended up coloring, you know, adding the color of the wires to which ones we need to do here based off of this harness. Now this one I have may not match the same wires if you were to get a similar harness, but for what I'm using, these are the wires that I need to use. I don't need to use the blue one, but I need the red, the black, the yellow, and the white one to finish this out. And uh, wh where we're gonna do this is we're gonna mount this right next to the starter relay because we're gonna use two terminals off the starter relay on my car. Let's go take a look at that. So the way this is set up in this drawing, this is, you know, it's more or less the same thing. We're gonna wanna use this terminal right here, and we're gonna wanna use this terminal on this side. And when we turn the key on the car, this terminal becomes active, and that's what we're gonna to wanna to use, why we're gonna to wanna to use that terminal. So when we wire this up, we're also going to, we're gonna mount this thing somewhere near the starter relay. Now, you can put this in your car, you can put it anywhere you want, but I like to put it next to this stuff, partly because we're gonna have a lot of wires right here, and then I'm only gonna one, run one wire to the uh, electric choke itself. So if I were to mount this underneath here like so, it kind of tucks it away and keeps everything clean and doesn't look like we've added a bunch of wires. So this is where I'm gonna put this relay. So I can go ahead and I can drill a hole inside of the fender here for that mounting screw, and then we can get this harness prepped for the wiring. This is the screw that I'm gonna to use to hold that on there. So we just need a drill bit that's just a little bit smaller than the screw size so we can make a hole that this will go into the sheet metal and grab the sheet metal. It makes it easy if you have a punch because then you can mark on the sheet metal where you want that hole to be. And I want to tuck this underneath here. So if we just put this punch right around here and we just mark the, mark the sheet metal, that marks where we're going to put the drill bit. For the ground wire, we're just going to use the screw that we're going to be going to the sheet metal with and we can just ground this wire to that because we're going to use the white wire as ground. So what I'm going to do is we can go ahead and crimp on the terminal connector for the ground wire. All right, so that will be the ground wire. We need the yellow wire to go to the terminal on the starter relay, which will be, hopefully this will reach. We're gonna try it, hopefully it'll reach. Okay, then we need the black wire is gonna go to the positive terminal on the starter relay. And that's why this one here, but it's not gonna reach, so we're gonna have to add a little bit of wire to that. If you have some heat shrink tube, this is a good time to add it. I don't have any of the black stuff. All I have is this yellow stuff, but this will work. not using the blue wire so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that one short because we're not gonna need it and we'll just tape this off okay all that's left is the red wire which we're gonna run over to the starter or to the choke but I need to make that longer too So now that we have all these wires figured out, so we've got the, the yellow wire that's gonna go up to the terminal on the, the front of the starter relay. The white wire is gonna go to the ground screw here on top of the relay. This red wire, which is now white, is gonna go out to the uh, electronic choke. And this black wire that's turned into a red wire will come around and hook up to the, the positive terminal on the starter relay. I don't need this much length, but we'll put it in the car and see how much we need. All right, so now let's go ahead and install this on the car. Again, we want to hook up this white wire to the ground, and we'll just put the screw through here, and then through the top of this relay, and then we'll screw it into the car. Now we need to hook up this yellow wire to this terminal right here, and what I'm going to do is take off that one. You could just put this on here and put that on, but I want a little bit more secure connection, so we're going to put 
a nut on here, and this just happens to be a 10-32 thread, a size 10, 32 threads per inch, and we're just gonna put that on there and thread that down. And then we can put this back on there. There, now that one's secure, ready to go. Last part over here is we're gonna hook this wire up to this terminal. So we don't need very much. And I could route this back this way so we could almost reach, but we just can't quite. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna cut this short and put it on the end of that stud right there. All right, now we need to start routing this over to the electronic choke. And I've already got a wire that runs through here, so I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of put it with that. And I've got some, some loom that we're gonna cover this up and clean this up. But for now, let's just figure out how much we need to get over to here. And make sure you leave enough for yourself to have a little bit extra room. So right about there, we'll cut it right there. So take a look at your terminals here on your electronic choke. On mine, this, this connector here is the positive and this is the ground, so I need a I need the, con the connector that goes with that. And that's gonna be this style here. So we'll just crimp this on here. And as we route it over, think about the path that you're routing stuff so you don't get in the way of any kind of linkage, particularly like right here or any other wiring. So we've got a little bit of room, so I can go ahead and put this on here. And I can clean all this up afterwards, but we really wanna make sure that get everything in place, make sure everything fits. The last piece is the ground wire. And this takes the opposite type of connector, which is this style. And then we're just gonna ground it to one of these terminals, probably this one up here. So I just need a wire that will that will connect, you know, from this terminal to this, and we'll just put it on that screw. We don't need to be much, you know, probably something like that. Nice and clean and short, so we'll just cut it. Right about there. And to clean all this up, we're just gonna use this uh, generic wire loom that you can buy at any auto parts store. And we'll just fish it on the wires here, and that will allow us to clean up the wiring, you know, this new wire that we just added with this existing harness that's already here. All right, now that we got the wire loom all covered on the old wiring, I do need to come back and I need to put in a fuse in line with this wire that I was talking about earlier. So we're just gonna cut this off here. And then we're just gonna crimp on this new inline fuse. All right, so now this is all wired up. We've got the 12 volt source that is only triggered by the relay, so it's not constantly feeding the coil on the electronic choke. It's only triggered when the relay is triggered, and this terminal here is gonna trigger that relay. So let's check the terminal on the electronic choke and make sure that it's working. All right, with the key off, let's just check the terminals here, make sure everything's working right. Okay, no voltage, that's what we want. Now let's go turn the key on. All right, with the key on, checking that. There we go, 12.66, that'll work. That's enough to activate the coil. And as the coil gets electricity, it'll heat up the coil and it'll spin this actuator here and move that, that choke door open on the, on the carburetor. All right guys, that's it. That's how you put a relay in to actuate the electronic choke on your carburetor. Uh, now's your chance. If you want to, you can go back and clean up the wiring and maybe add some more loom on here or maybe clean up the wiring underneath here, however you're gonna do it in your car and just make it look something that's that's professional and, and tucked away and, and looks like you're trying. <laughs> but other than that, that's it. That's how you do it. Don't forget to put a fuse in line here and uh, you're set to go. If you guys like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you subscribe, I appreciate it because it helps my channel out and we'll see you in the next one.